Communism is the riddle of history solved, and it knows itself to be this solution. Communism is for us, not a state of affairs, which is to be established, an ideal to which reality will have to adjust itself. We call communism the real movement, which abolishes the present state of things. The conditions of this movement result from the premises now in existence. Only in community with others has each individual the means of cultivating his gifts in all directions. Only in the community, therefore, is personal freedom possible. Communism now no longer meant the concoction, by means of the imagination, of an ideal society as perfect as possible, but insight into the nature, the conditions, and the consequent general aims of the struggle waged by the proletariat. The entire movement of history, as simply communism's actual act of genesis, the birth act of its empirical existence, is, therefore, for its thinking consciousness the comprehended and known process of its becoming. But also when I am active scientifically, etc., an activity which I can seldom perform in direct community with others, then my activity is social, because I perform it as a man. Not only is the material of my activity given to me as a social product, as is even the language in which the thinker is active, my own existence is social activity. The book is the foundation of the body of belief and thought called Marxism. There are numerous Karl Marx Communist Manifesto quotes, and each of them has deep meaning. The theory of communists may be summed up in the single sentence, abolition of private property. Then the world will be for the common people, and the sounds of happiness will reach the deepest springs. Ah! Come! People of every land, how can you not be roused? In proportion, therefore, as the repulsiveness of the work increases, the wage decreases. Communism deprives no man of the power to appropriate the products of society. All that it does is to deprive him of the power to subjugate the labor of others by means of such appropriation. The modern bourgeois society that has sprouted from the ruins of feudal society has not done away with class antagonisms. It has but established new classes, new conditions of oppression, new forms of struggle in place of the old ones.